Every year, thousands of lives are saved because co-workers or good Samaritans know first aid or CPR. And the American Red Cross offers classes to prepare you for what to do in a medical emergency. KXLY 4's Eric Loney live this morning to help us out. Yeah, good morning, guys. We're in the basement of the Red Cross here in Spokane. Danielle Howard, one of the instructors here at the Red Cross. This weekend, the Red Cross has a class. It's an adult pediatric CPR AED first aid class. You're going to learn some great things. And Danielle, this morning, you're going to show us one of the things that people can learn, which is adult hands-only CPR. And this recently changed. I mean, you're no longer giving breasts, right? Right, that's correct. Um, this is for any bystanders that want to help in an emergency situation. This really just alleviates any confusion. And what do you do? So let's say you see someone down on the ground. What do you teach people to do? Uh, when you first arrive on the scene, you do want to check for safety, making sure you're not in the middle of the road and things like that. Um, so you want to make sure it's safe for you first. Uh, after you've done that, you do want to establish that you're not, not just sleeping. So we do want to check for consciousness. So we tap and shout, hey, are you okay? If you're not getting a response at that point, that's going to be the important part of you calling 911. So it'd either be you calling 911 or somebody else standing around you that's going to be doing that. And that, is that what you tell people? Once you determine that they're unconscious or not responsive, that's when you dial 911. And you also tell them, what do you tell them about the phone? Um, you can also put them on speakerphone. Um, you know, you can multitask during that point because maybe you don't have somebody standing around. So um, it can be helpful when you have your cell phone, just stick the EMTs on, on speakerphone and, and you can continue doing your work. So you determine that they're unresponsive, now you check for breathing. Yes. Um, so after you, after you check for breathing, um, you've established that they're unconscious and not breathing, you can determine that this person needs to get CPR. So at that point, you do want to put your hand on the chest here. It's going to be in the center of the chest, um, and then you're going to put your other hand on top, and then you're going to place yourself right over the, the person so that you get good leverage. And then you're going to press down at least two inches deep, and it's going to be 30 compressions every 18 seconds. You know, 18 seconds is how long it's going to take. So you're going to press down. And you got to press down harder than you think. They want you to go down two inches. So you can't hurt someone by pressing down too hard for the most part. And usually when people are in, in my class, they're sweating. So it's a workout. <laughs> okay, we're going to keep, we're out of time this morning. We're going to keep talking about the class and things you can learn here at the Red Cross this weekend. They have a class this Saturday. And again, it's adult, pediatric, CPR, AED, and first aid. All things people need to know. Back